Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Goin. In today's video, we will talk about multiplying decimals by the power of 10. So we have here question 6.25 times 10 raised to the third power. And what is the value when you multiply this decimal by the power of 10? So before we do this, or before we answer, or in other words, before we multiply this decimal and this power of 10, let us answer first this set of questions. So we have here six different questions where in number one, we are given 1.25 times 100. So there's a shortcut on how to multiply this, not manually. So what you need to do is to count the number of one of zeros here. In 100, we have one and two zeros. Again, we have two different zeros two different zeros. What will happen is that you will copy 1.5 we have 1.25 and then since the number of zeros that we have here in our given is 2 what we need to do is to move we will, mo we will move this decimal point from left to right two decimal points eh? 1 and 2 and it's it will stop here so as you can see guys the answer here in number one is simply 125. Again, we have two different zeros. We will move one and two. And it will give us the answer of 125 as our whole number. So let's move on with item number two. For number two, we are given this one. 10 times 0 0.6. This is your 10. As you can see, we have one zeros here. Or we have one zero here so you have 0 0.6 and then since we have one zero we need to count the number of zeros or we need to move the number of decimal places from left to right based on the number of zeros we have one therefore the correct answer is simply six now let's move on with item number three in number 3, we have 18.8 .8 times 10 raised to the 4th power. By the way guys, when you say 10 raised to the 4th power, that is equivalent to how many? How many guys? That is equivalent to this one. 10,000. We need to count the number of zeros. Ibig sabihin guys, if you have this exponent of 4, you have 4 different zeros. Okay? So what you need to do is to get this. We have 18.8. And then we will only move 4 decimal places because we have 1, 2, 3, and 4. Or you can observe the exponent. We have 4 here as our exponent. So we will count 1, 2, 3, and 4 and we will place zeros here 1 2 3 so we have 1 2 3 4 decimal places from left to right and the correct answer is simply this one 188,000 this is the correct answer for item number 3 let's move on with item number 4 for number 4 we are given 0 0.475 times 100 we have Two different zeros, one and two, meaning your 0 0.475, the decimal value or places will be moved two times, one and two. So as you can see, it stops here. Therefore, the correct answer is 47.5. And for number five, so 8.1 times 10, so you have 8.1 times 10 squared so the exponent is 2 therefore we will move two decimal places from left to right 1 and 2 and we will place 0 here therefore the correct answer is 810 and lastly for number 6 before we proceed with our original problem we have 11.2 times 10 so as you can see your 11.2 then you have 1 0 here so we will move one decimal point here and the answer is 100, 
12. So based in our given examples from 1 to 6, I think you are now ready to answer this problem. What is 6.25 times 10 raised to the third power? So let's observe the given. We have 6.25 and the exponent of 10 raised to the third power is 3. Meaning from this point, we will move three decimal values from left to right. So we have 1, 2, and 3. So there's a space here. You will put 0 here. Ibig be to guys, the correct answer is simply this one. 6,250. And I hope guys you learned something from this video on how to multiply decimals by the power of 10. Now as your task or as your assignment, I want you to answer this one. What is 7.235 to be multiplied by 10 raised to the fourth power? So I hope na makita ko ang inyong answer within our comment section. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gorn. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!